Evening, everyone. My name is Lieutenant Dessler for Two Hands, Too Many Games, and... <laughs> fuck. <laughs> um... YouTube, 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 what are you doing? Um... <laughs> Jesus. So, MXR Plays, you know, they seem to be the channel that has hit the news quite publicly in the last little while. Um, mainly because of their issues with Jukin Media. As well, now they've got an issue with YouTube. And YouTube, what have they done? They have basically slashed their ability to monetize their videos. Um, I watched their video on this, um, even though I have it here as their opening stuff. God, Jeannie, I'm sorry, I gotta move here. There we go. Better, better screen cap, I'm really sorry. Um, yeah, YouTube and monetization, or in this case, demonetization. Um, MXR Plays can no longer monetize any of their videos because nobody from YouTube is going to look at the, has gone to look at their videos that they've put up. Uh, according to Henry, he put up a spat of five videos and sent them off to YouTube to be reviewed to make sure that they can be monetized or that they would be monetized, and nobody is doing it. Henry has gone on to say that um, his communication with YouTube has basically been, for the most part, been robotic, in that uh, the fellow that he was talking to was saying, well... You're in a queue, basically, so you have to wait. And yet, apparently, some of Henry's um, friends with other channels, they've had their videos reviewed within eight hours. And Henry has been stuck waiting at least a week, and then he's to leave the video and put another video up, sent it to YouTube, another, you know, it seems like... It seems like YouTube wants nothing to do with MXR plays and wants the channel to fail. That is ultimately what I am reading here. I am a super tiny channel and I don't expect people to come in and, you know, watch my stuff and sub to it because I'm not a regular I'm not a regular uploader. I am very, very erratic in my uploading. In fact, I think I've gone a super long time without uploading um, any videos to my YouTube channel. I think my last video that I uploaded was a reaction to Carbot's um, Season 7, Episode 7 finale of uh, StarCraft. You know, it's been very difficult to try and put myself in a position where I want to create content for YouTube but they're making it difficult for creators to make said content and put it up on YouTube. And now, we, now we're kind of seeing a bit of a darker side of YouTube where a channel that has, you know, 800, seven, uh, 800,000, uh, subscribers, you know, they're just under 900,000 subs. And... They, they they don't have the ability to monetize their videos anymore because YouTube no longer sends anybody to look at their videos. And it's disheartening to see, you know, two really, really nice people that I enjoy watching on YouTube uh, to, to suffer like this. They've already suffered one massive amount of bullshit with Juke and Media, and now they're dealing with this m massive monstrosity of dog crap now, <laughs> that it's, they even say at the end, or towards the end, that, you know, they're going to have to make changes to the channel, because, you know, the YouTube bot, you know, gives the, the yellow chat mark check mark on or the yellow uh money sign over top the majority of the videos and less so on the you know green lighting videos to be monetized i lost my monetization ability uh four four years ago i haven't been able to monetize any of my videos and that's not from a lack of trying 
I've, you know, done what I can to try and get up there and grow to the ability so that I could monetize my videos. But it just, it's just now gone to the point where I, as a creator, don't see much worth in putting things on YouTube if, you know, this is going to continue to happen to people. I mean, this is this is in no way a small channel. This is this is not a small channel by any shape, form of the imagination. Like they are not, they are not super large. Like say Jack. Jack has got twenty three point two million subscribers. Markiplier, you know, twenty four point nine million subscribers. I think he's actually. Did he lose subs? Oh, no, 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 no. They're getting close. IGP, you know, 1.6 million subscribers. I like watching IGP. But the, the you know, the, the fact of the matter is, is that YouTube is making it difficult for people and creators to put content together, put it up on YouTube, and then, you know, they get slapped for it. I mean, again, my, I am in no way a big channel, you know, I have 157 subs, I, all my uploads are, you know, they don't have a lot of views, you know, the only video that's got a large amount of views and it's not being monetized is my, my reaction review to the, the car bot thing, you know, my risk of rain got no, um, views my death stranding has like nine my apex legends has seven five nights at freddy's vr 10 uh it's just like what is the point of having having something and putting it up and you know just not kind of getting your dues. I'm not saying I deserve any dues. I don't deserve any money because clearly I'm not keeping up with, you know, having regular uploads or any any of this stuff. But it's again, it's really really disheartening to to see, you know, a channel like MXR plays get hit like that. Especially after they're picking themselves up at, after the Jukin Media incident. So, if YouTube continues to go on the trend where they're going to make it so that it's almost impossible for content creators to monetize their videos or to put content up on their channels without getting smacked, then what is the point of having YouTube if, A, you don't have a contract with YouTube, or you know, putting stuff up for fun. Like, is YouTube even really worth it anymore? I mean, don't get me wrong. I love, you know, going on to my, my subscriptions that I am part of, you know, Jack, Mark, IGP, you know, the others. Is, but it's, it's really, really, really disheartening to see, to see this. And if you want to see, you know, exactly what's going on, uh, you know, go to MXR Plays, you know, watch their videos. I'll leave links to their to their channel in the in the description below. I'll leave, you know, the the information that I can there. Go watch them, go support them. You know, if they end up disappearing, follow their Patreon. They, their content is their content's good. I like their content. It's awesome. It's just, you know what's gonna happen with YouTube going forwards. Uh, that's the only thing I, I've got to say. I'm I'm stuck between different platforms, Twitch, Mixer, YouTube, you know, just to try and get people to come to, you know, my channels and kind of my stuff. But now it's just, <laughs> I don't even know if this is uh, worth it anymore. Because now people are... People are losing their livelihoods. There are probably people that we don't even know about that have the ability to monetize that now they can't monetize nothing because YouTube doesn't want to deal with it. So YouTube, you know, get off your high horses 
you have the people here. If you have an issue with a channel, contact them, communicate with them. You know, don't don't do this passive aggressive turn where oh we're not going to monetize any of their videos because we don't want to have anything to do because they're a problem channel. That is what I'm reading out of the situation with MXR plays, is that YouTube does not want to deal with MXR plays or MXR vlogs or any of the MXR brand channels because they are now a problem. There are probably other channels out there that are problem channels as well, but we don't see it because right now the headliner that is considered a problem is MXR plays. Like, uh, I don't know. I've tried to, just so you guys understand kind of where I'm going with this, is that this has taken me, this is my third attempt to record this video and put this out because I fucking went off and I don't want any of you guys to go through any of that. So this is me being as kind of nice as I can. I'm sorry if anything is kind of incoherent, but... In terms of monetization and livelihood, and the ability to make money, YouTube has, if, if MXR Plays did not have Patreon, YouTube had effectively shut down the channel and stripped them of any means of making a living. And YouTube has the ability to do that to anybody. So if you happen to be a problem channel, you know, take care, you know, be cautious, make sure that you communicate. With YouTube, if you can even communicate with YouTube, um, but you know, kind of keep your heads up, try and keep going. I'm gonna try and figure out how I'm gonna, you know, continue my channel if I want to continue my channel. But you know, it's it's really really disheartening to see t such nice people <laughs> end up back in this the this shitty situation again so that's all i got um go support mxr plays go support genie and henry give them all of their love and yeah that's that's all i got for you <laughs> that's all i really got for you take care